uh, the African Development Bank has been supporting the Ministry of Education. They have helped the Ministry of Education to grow. They have had a systemic approach to education because they support primary, they support secondary, and they support higher education. And in fact, the African Development Bank is one of the few development partners that supports higher education. The African Development Bank has now played a major role in helping uh, KIST, the Kigali Institute of Science and Tech, to achieve the objective through funding support uh, that has included the provision of uh, state-of-the-art uh, KIST 4 laboratories, which is a four-story building housing state-of-the-art facilities in physics, undergraduate, and some postgraduate elements in biology, in food science and technology, and in chemistry and electronics uh, as well. With this new laboratory provided by the African Development Bank, KIST is now able to train its graduates at the same level as is available in all internationally leading universities. Up until now, students at KIST uh, did not have the, uh, the tools, uh, equipment, and infrastructure to be able to uh, provide them with uh, the practical training that they need uh, on the subjects that they're taught. Um, practical training is a very valuable tool for uh, uh, capacity building and education. Um, it gives them the capability, it gives the students the capability to be able to visualize uh, uh, things that are being taught in classes in, in theory. And I should also add that uh, having a background in, in Europe and, uh, and in the United States, uh, I should also add that uh, the laboratory environment at KISS compared very well to, um, to some of the um, similar uh, laboratories in institutions in uh, Europe and, and the States uh, in terms of the, the breadth of the coverage of the equipment uh, and the tools and the um, availability of equipment. So all in all, I think it's an excellent facility to improve uh, capacity building in Rwanda. So before coming to KIST, I studied at the University of Tokyo for my bachelor's degree and uh, at Duke University and Princeton University in the United States for my master's and PhD degrees. Um, so at KIST, I'm teaching uh, at the Department of Chemistry and teaching the, uh, the courses in environmental sciences. So the KIST 4 laboratory building uh, opened this year, and uh, the, for, the, 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 for the first time I entered, I entered the lab building for the very first time, I was really impressed because the type of the equipment we have here is uh, as good as um, that they have in those institutions like University of Tokyo or Princeton. Now the questions are whether we can use them efficiently uh, or not. And uh, I'm pretty sure we will. So in this laboratory, we come and then we do some experiments, not only doing this theory practicals, but then as food scientists, we most of the times work in, in industries, and then in industries we use several machines with, which are made of several whatever materials. And then as a female student, at first, we know uh, technology was being most of the times practiced by these men. So now we as ladies, <laughs> we as ladies, we are trying to improve it such that we can also take part in this technology. <laughs> It's an opportunity for me to, to pursue this course so in the future I'll be able to move with others. Yeah. Like being able to to work in the environment or wherever it is, if it's technology like here we are doing computer engineering and information technology. So I have I'm capable of 
working in any company that has information technology departments and I can do a lot of stuff. You know. Uh, Rock Global Consulting is one of the leading IT infrastructure company. We have uh, offices in Rwanda and Burundi. And when we started, uh, about 75% of our technical team came from KIST. What we really like about the student at KISS was the fact that they have a Cisco Academy and as Cisco partner, we really value this kind of skill that they provide. And also Cisco is one of the leading provider of network solution. The CATT is Center for Innovation Techniques Transfer, which is established by KIST in 2002 with the mission of developing appropriate technologies, innovation, ensuring the sustainable adaptation and ensuring the capacity of the private sector to multiply the technologies. Under the, under the Department of Private Sector Development, we have Business Incubation Facility and KIST Enterprise Development Fund. The Business Incubation Facility is a unique facility of KIST which provides multi-tenancy facility to, to young graduates who want to start their own business. Through this facility, we are giving them a shared facilities which includes computer, mentoring, coaching, office space, networking support, and any support which entrepreneurs are looking for. We are really very grateful to the African Development Bank uh, for this uh, great initiative and everybody who has come to KIST so far to see the, uh, the new laboratory, they have been extremely impressed and uh, we, we really would uh, assure ADB that we will make the very best out of this laboratory in terms of training and in terms of our impact as an institution in the development of scientists, technologies and ICT specialists for Rwanda and for the rest of the world. They have supported school construction. They have supported laboratory construction. They have supported purchase of laboratory equipment. And they have also supported affirmative action, which has helped increase the number of uh, girls. So far the African Development Bank has spent about 100 million US dollars. So the support we have received from African Development Bank has helped us to produce very good academicians and very good uh, skilled workers. So the African Development Bank supports us through budget support and through projects that are very well targeted to achieve the results that we need for our economic development. Mm -hmm.